A fan favorite returns in Black Ops Cold War and is quickly becoming the go-to piece of tactical equipment. Is it the perfect accompaniment for your ultimate rushing class loadout? The Stim Shot. Coming up. Hey, what is going on, fellas? It's Favstar. With the stim shot becoming the dominant tactical choice for class loadouts, it's time for a full breakdown. We'll analyze the details, check the numbers, and help you guys make a solid decision if the stim shot will become your go-to tactical equipment. So what is the stim shot? The in-game description describes it as a reusable stimulant that initiates healing immediately. You can equip it in your custom classes in your tactical equipment slot. So you'll be giving up the use of tactical grenades if you choose the stim shot. Unlike the other tactical equipment, the stim shot is reusable and you can't use up your supply, but it does require recharge time, so you'll need to wait 11 seconds between uses. Before we look at how the stim shot works, let's talk about how health regenerates in Black Ops Cold War. Cold War uses an automated health regeneration system. So after you take damage, a short time will pass and you'll return to your full health with no action required on your part. The white bar in the lower left of your screen is your health meter. A full meter represents 150 HP. When you take damage, you'll lose HP and the health bar will decrease. You'll remain at the reduced health level and healing will be delayed for a short period of time before the health bar begins to quickly refill. If you take more damage at any time during the healing delay period or while the meter is refilling, the healing delay time will reset and start over again. And you'll have to wait again before the health meter begins refilling. Here's where the stim shot comes in. Once you complete the stim shot injection, the healing delay stops and the health meter begins filling immediately. It's important to note that you are not instantly fully healed. The health meter refills at the same speed as it did without the stim shot. It just starts immediately and you won't need to wait for the healing delay. Let's jump into a private match and take a closer look. We'll compare the total default healing time with the total stim shot healing time. For this comparison, JFAV will four tap me with an AR and deal 140 HP of damage. This will leave me with 10 HP to start healing with. I'll start the timer at the exact moment that I stop taking damage, and I'll stop the timer at the exact moment that I'm fully healed. As we can see, a full heal from 10 HP takes 6.35 seconds. For determining the stim shot total healing time, I'll activate the stim shot exactly one second after taking damage. I think that this would be a reasonable delay in a normal game situation. As you can see, by using the stim shot, you can reach full health in 3.15 seconds. This gives using the stim shot a 3.2 second advantage over the default healing system. In a fast paced game like Call of Duty, where literally milliseconds count, a 3.2 second advantage is a huge advantage in a gunfight. Of course, this advantage is only beneficial if you make smart in-game decisions and use the stim shot at the right times. Using the stim shot consistently at the correct time isn't as easy as it sounds. You'll often need to make split-second decisions between using the stim shot, reloading your weapon, or simply re-engaging the enemy. These split-second decisions are difficult and add to the complexity of the situation. To determine whether the stim shot was a viable option for me, I completed an experiment. I played 10 matches of domination with a rushing playstyle, 5 with a stim shot equipped and 5 with a stun grenade equipped. 
After reviewing the matches in theater mode, I only found two situations in which the stim shot clearly saved my life. However, when using the stun grenades, there was 15 occasions when a stunned enemy was killed either by myself or by a teammate. So should the stim shot be your go-to tactical equipment? I would say yes and no. If your main goal is to achieve a team victory, then based on my testing, I would say to skip the stim shot and equip a stun grenade. If however you have a more selfish agenda and want to stay alive for the high streaks, then the stim shot is absolutely viable. Of course this is just my opinion and I would love to hear from you guys. Is the stim shot your go-to tactical equipment? Let me know in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed the video remember to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.